So here's what I'm gonna make for you, something in honor of Roman's restaurant. I'm gonna make a little chimichanga for you. You ever had a chimichanga? I feel you, I feel you. Well, make me do it. So I'm a big fan of the chimichanga, kind of like a burrito that gets a little bit of the deep fry. And I'm not gonna quite deep fry it on you today. I'm gonna kind of give it a little bit of a, well, a little bit of a pan fry. So I've got a little top round here that I had my wonderful butcher cut up. And uh, let me get this bad boy down first. There we go. All right, now we get some onions and peppers working. Now the onions and peppers can get kind of a rough chop to them. Okay. Now, get some onions down on top of that. Now this is gonna go low and slow in this Dutch oven. And what I'm looking for something that can really retain heat. So I'll kind of put a sear on it here, hit it in with some of these onions and these peppers, and then finish it off in the oven for about an hour, hour and a half, until it gets really nice and tender. Okay, so these go down. Boy, how I wish I had somebody up here to chop this. No, 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 it's not gonna be that easy today. Oh, point out your friend, I like that, no. Hey, she wants to. A Little bit of the jalapenos. Now, I love the jalapenos in California. It's a prerequisite, you have to eat nine of these before you can go into school. No. I love, I'm telling you, peppers are one of my favorite things but I think they get misunderstood. They think that they're super hot, and the reality of it is the smaller the pepper, the hotter the pepper. You get some poblanos, they're not quite as, as fierce. Now, now the jalapenos go down. I'm putting, onion, I'm putting the seeds, the ribs, the whole enchilada, although it's a chimichanga, but you know what I meant. Okay, a little rough chop on some of the garlic. I don't want that garlic to go too small on me. If I do, I have a tendency to burn. Thank you, all together as one. There we go. Now. Let me get a little bit of salt down on this. A little black pepper. Fresh ground black pepper. Um, a little bit of cayenne. This is where some nice heat's gonna come in. Woo! Part of the cayenne club's here with us, I guess. Thank you. Nice representation. The cayenne club gets a clap. Me, I'm fighting for it out here. Okay, there we go. A little bit of chili powder going in. And I'm gonna get a little granulated garlic in too. So, I gotta give this a little mix, a little stir, because I know that I've got some crust building up on the bottom of this. Oh, that's great. Can you smell the flavor? Let me get a little flour into this. Nice job. Now what's this gonna do? Well, it's gonna work with some of the fat in the bottom of this and make kind of, well, make a little bit of a roux. So I'm gonna mix this up. Now I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of red wine vinegar. This is gonna help break it down, add some great flavor, deglaze the bottom of the pan. There we go. Remember, we've got the onions and the jalapenos in there. Now a little beef stock to go in. Okay, and just kind of getting it, man, not over the top of it, but up about two thirds of the way. Now, with that all done, the flowers are in there, the seasonings are in there. Mix this up, pop the lid on it. Now this would go in the oven, go down for about hour, hour and a half at about 350. I'm gonna set this bad boy up, but I got another pretty one hiding downtown. Yeah. I feel like I'm in some kind of a squatting, you know. Oh, and he listened successfully, folks. There we go. Now I also have some tortillas there. Those are gonna come out in a second. I'm kind of steaming the tortillas to make those a little bit easier to work with. You try to take a dry tortilla and wrap anything around it. Well, it doesn't, doesn't work, it breaks apart. It's gonna fall apart in the oil. But let's take a gander at this. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. Now this is almost falling apart itself. You can see how tender that is. You know, that's so tender. I have to taste it. Mmm, that is dynamite. And invite you up on stage, but then it gets chaotic. Okay, a little bit of black beans go downtown. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I say. Okay. <laughs> and here we go with a little pinto, kidney, white beans, whatever you got available. You wanna go from dry, you can. This is my quick and fast and easy way to do this. Now let me get in here a little bit. I think I have a lime that rolled away on me. Get a little lime downtown. So I got one of those squeezer. Yeah, for the margarita party, it's still here. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You were here, guy. You guys were. Okay, there we go. Little lime on that. You know what I'm gonna do is just hit a little touch of lime into that, not knowing how much I get from the zest. And a little bit more downtown here. Some fresh cilantro. 
That's what I'm talking about. You know, sometimes when I'm working with, with uh, parsley, Italian parsley into a dish, I'll actually add a little fresh cilantro in there. It's got a real nice, I think it's got a real nice big flavor to it. Okay, so we'll give that a quick little, little dice. We throw that in there. Stir it around. Now I'm gonna take the heat down here and let this just hang out for a second. Let some of that cilantro open up. So I've got this down. Let me grab my tortillas. I've got some flour tortillas working for this. Ah, that oven is hot. Here we go. Okay, now, you could do the tortillas in a microwave if you want, but I think letting them kind of steam in their own juices is great. So you reach in here, you grab some of the meat. There we go. Let's cover these back up so my whole steaming process doesn't go away on us. Okay, over once, over twice, bring it together, kind of fold it in. There we go. You know what? Come on, back up real quick. Get a little cheese in there. I know my own recipe. Okay, into the back of it. Grab a toothpick, underneath it with a toothpick, bring it over to the hot oil, 350 degrees, and there is the beginning of the chimichanga fest. That right there, I would be the champ of the chimichanga challenge. Say that five times fast. So check out my chimichangas. 